And I guess this all highlights how creators across media types or forms are pushing back. So it's not just photographers and journalists, it's studios, musicians, publishers, who are all, as they see it, at least fighting for their uh, right to protect their creative output in, in, in the AI world and era. And it's not easy for, for creatives right now in the AI world, right? So big tech aren't making it very easy for, for them. They're being very creative in how they're applying existing law to, to AI issues. So in the UK, for example, there's a prestige exemption under the Copyright Designs and Patents Act 1988. So that's essentially an exemption that allows pe- uh, companies, individuals to use copyright works for parody, caricature, or even prestige. So looking at phrasing it as stylized imitation rather than just direct copying. Precisely, Elliot. And that's really interesting because it's been barely been tested in court and definitely never within the AI context. So whether AI-generated content can fall within that exception or not is really an open question. And this case that we're discussing today, it might touch on it or at least really set the groundwork for how future claims might be assessed. But for now, it's just one of those many great areas within this topic.